Dread Ripper 3 shirt. <laughs> All right, so we are in multi-day of, I don't even know how many days, basically testing the Optimus water block, comparing it to the EKWB Velocity water block for the Thread Ripper 3970X. So yes, that was a mouthful and I have some thoughts. So I was previously using this. This is the EKWB Velocity water block and it's exceptional. It's got 91 fins in it. Uh, I've been really happy with the performance. It even has some RGB, you know, for extra bling for deep blue here. So I basically was really excited about Thread Ripper 3 coming out. So I bought this temporarily because Optimus said they were coming out with a new water block. So I did the whole pre-order thing. Cost twice as much as this. And overall, uh, I decided to do some like really nice thorough testing, you know, compare this to the Optimus water block. Now, because of COVID and all that stuff, um, yeah, it got seriously delayed by a very, very long time. I think I ordered it in like November, December timeframe, and I didn't get it till like months later uh, because of all the you know supply chain issues. So was it worth it? Well, it depends. So the temperatures are better with the Optimus water block, technically. I did numerous testing. Uh, I basically, you know, took the block off, put it back on, you know, took this off, put it back, back on, and um, did Cinebench R20 runs, did Blender benchmark runs. I decided not to do folding at home runs because there's, those basically are gonna be inconsistent or incomparable loads per work, work unit. Um, but I did start a folding at home team. So if you know anything about folding at home, helping scientists, researchers to better understand the protein folding nature of this virus so we can get back to our regular lives. Uh, feel free to join our team. I have a tech talk team from TikTok, uh, and we're actually team number 266851. We have 654 members and we're ranked 1,246 right now as of this video out of 254,000 teams. So come join. Um, but back to the story here. So the Optimus water block technically after all of those runs is more efficient it has like 225 fins compared to 91 but apparently having that many more fins doesn't necessarily mean increased performance it means there's more fins so the fins on this 91 fins are larger and more spaced out the fins on the optimus water block are very 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 thin so yeah, there's like more channels for the water to go through, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's more surface area because these are larger as well. So I'm guessing that kind of balances it out. Maybe it's a marketing thing. Maybe Optimus just said, hey, we have a theory and they tried that theory out and technically it is better. After all those runs that I did, mounting and unmounting and all that stuff and you know taking in ambient temperatures, basically I did a, a delta between like whatever the room temperature was to the temperatures of the, the blocks and all that stuff. So on average, it was one degree Celsius better on average. The deltas between all the cores, you know, 32 cores, 64 threads, the deltas are basically the same, you know, so the, that didn't change whatsoever. So if like one core was, let's say 36 degrees and another core was 40 degrees, that was kind of the same, no matter which block I used. All right, so throwing that out. Um, but overall, just having one degree better performance and costing twice as much and no RGB kind of makes me think if this whole thing was really worth it. Uh, I do have all the data, so hit me up on Twitter if, if you want to see the actual you know, Excel spreadsheet data. It's, it's irrelevant in my opinion now because after all that testing, one degree difference. All right. Now, this, my system, Deep Blue, is probably not going to be your average system for those using uh, Threadripper 3. So I have a 480 millimeter radiator in the front, a 360 millimeter radiator in the side, and another 360 radiator, 60 millimeter one up top as well. Um, plus I have uh, a lot of fluid in the system because uh, at the time I had a, a second 250 millimeter reservoir and plus the 140 millimeter um, uh, basically res pump by EKWB. So that's a lot of fluid and a lot of uh, cooling capability of this system. So I am kind of wondering if you had a radiator that was maybe just a 480 or just a 360 with the temperatures being higher, would the thread would the Threadripper 3 water block by Optimus perform better? I don't know. Feel free to test it um, and let me know over Twitter or something like that. So 
overall, yes, it performs better. But I now have an issue where it's actually bleeding a little bit in the fins. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if you can see right here, you can see some fluid kind of bleeding down there as well as up here. And that shouldn't really be happening. So three weeks is unacceptable. Maybe six months, sure, a year, yeah, whatever, water finds a way. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna remove that. I'm gonna replace it with the EKWB Velocity Water Block because this was an exceptional performer. And uh, plus it has some RGB on it. So I'll keep you guys updated. Again, if you want to see some of the stats of uh, you know, the temperature differences between the two on my Excel spreadsheets, hit me up on Twitter, you know, I'll, I'll post it there. It's just not worth putting into this video because one degree Celsius, whatever. Uh, so if you like this style of video as usual, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, and of course hit that subscribe button. I have more content coming. So this is going to be a multi-part series as it has already been. This is part three. So check out my parts two and one as well. And then I have more Wi-Fi stuff coming and uh, hit me up on TikTok. We're at about 41, 42,000 followers on TikTok. So that's become kind of my main easy platform because 15 second videos, 60 second videos, a lot of how-to content on water cooling, Wi-Fi, overclocking, and just fun stuff as well. No dancing though. Well, yeah, I did dance once, twice, but we won't speak of that. Peace.